Hello everyone, my name is Jared Douglas and I'm an ATD facilitator. Today I'll be showing you two visual design tips to keep in mind when creating learning content. You can see I'm using articulate today, but really these principles could apply to any type of visual aid. First up is white space. Now I'm sure we've all seen slides or videos that look like this one here. There's so much text, but how can we actively avoid clutter like this? Well, the opposite of clutter is white space. It's the absence of any text or images or animations in our materials. And you can see in this example, I took away all the visual noise and left our key point. Remember, when we're creating visual materials, one of our main goals is retention. We want our audience to remember what they learned, and part of that is remembering what they saw. And one last point on this, while we call it white space, technically, the space could be any color, which does bring us to our second example of color palettes. So in our pursuit of making memorable visuals, it could be easy to throw in more than one color to make our content stand out. This can sometimes lead to a bit of chaos like this example you see here. Some of the ideas are good. We have highlighting key words here. But there's just too many colors mixed together. There's also not color agreement, otherwise known as using complementing colors. If you're getting a bit of a headache from staring at this slide, that means the colors are clashing. A lot of companies have visual guidelines or standards we need to adhere to, and some will be more or less difficult to work with. Here you can see I stuck with orange as an example of a bold color, but I toned it down by using some darker colors surrounding it, specifically the text. You can also see that the icons help ground our audience by adding a visual component to the key points. Even if we have specific colors we're working with, there's usually a creative way to still make it visually appealing. So to recap, use white space to reduce clutter and make room for the most important information. And when we're using color, balance out our bold colors with neutral blacks or grays. Thank you for joining, and I hope these visual design tips help in your next project.